you know you only got one shot. My name is Mick and I sing, play guitar, do songwriting for Gandhi's Gun. My name is Mike and I play bass, keyboards, and backing vocals. My name is Bobby, I play guitar. My name is Robin Lopez, I play drums for Gandhi's Gun. One Shot's a song about just taking that chance. You only have one shot is basically the message of the song. And that ended up kind of just being the inspiration for those lyrics. It was just like, man, I know one thing's for sure. You know, I'm going to keep doing this and this is what I'm all about. There's a lot of really good songs on there, but something about what it's about and, and just what he chose to write about. And just, I mean, that's just relatable across the board because we all have one shot. I'm gonna take my shot if, if I've only got one shot, you know, which is kind of how, you know, I feel about life in general, man. You, it's, you know, it's not really that long. You know, whatever it is you wanna do, make sure that you do whatever you can to do it because uh, you might not have that long. But when he hits into that chorus and what he says, people just drop. I could see it in their faces and when it's over and they all say the same thing, dude, it's like he's talking about my life, you know? What means something to people, you know? I think that's ultimately what makes a hit song, you know? Is does it mean anything to anybody besides yourself? And if you can make something that does, then um, you might have a hit. Me and Mick started out and yeah, it was just us two, you know, kind of going over the material and, you know, coming up with the songs. And little did we know that we were gonna have players like Mike or players like Bobby come in and, and add their flavor to it, which, which just made it, you know, 10 times better. We got Mike on bass uh, because Robin and Mike had played in a band together before and uh, Mike came in, auditioned, and uh, just totally fit. I joined this band knowing that I, I was onto something. I, I found a singer, an untouched singer, you know, he was like, came out of this quiet room and I found him. And then to hear like some of the things that we did in the studio and how the album came out. We're looking at each other like, you know, this is a really good song. It came out pretty special. All of them don't ever come out special, but there's just this handful that just, they're sticking out. And you, those are the ones you push for. The way Bobby got in the band, which was the final piece, we had booked time to come into his studio, the Looney Bin recording studio, which is where we recorded our record. And uh, we go in and we were working with this guitar player at the time. We weren't sure if, if, if he was the right guy for us. And um, we came into the studio and it just, it, it really all just kind of fell into place. Bobby, more or less, just kind of picked up a guitar and blew, blew our minds, to be honest with you. I mean, I had already decided, you know what, I'm not even gonna play guitar anymore. I'm just gonna record music. And then here are these guys that come in my studio and just start rocking this stuff and it was just like, wow, dude. One thing that I'm also really, really excited about is I think there's potential that I'll get to do some singing with uh, Hugo Freire from uh, Tantric. My name is Hugo Ferreira. I sing for Tantric. Well, Hugo is like our active A&R. My position is a liaison between the band and the label and A&Ring the record so that the, the record is ready to go without the label taking away time from the projects that they're already invested in. The first song I heard was One Shot, and I was just like, wow, this is a really great song. The recording was really well done. And, and as I started kind of sifting through all the songs, I was like, you know, this is a really good record. One of the first things he did for us was uh, show it to his record label. This is a process of building a baby band, you know? It's a band that nobody's ever heard of, but I, am, but I have a lot of faith in the band, and, and I hope that, um, you know, the world gets to hear their music. I think they're gonna feel the same way about the band as I do, you know. I think it's a great band and it's it's a no-brainer. They don't even really know this, but uh, you guys are gonna be torn with Tantric for a few weeks. Just pretty much setting it up for them to knock it down. I mean, that's just a great honor for him to be, you know, giving us the opportunity to shop ourselves to his fans that way. Hugo just reassured me in that sense that it's got, y'all got something, you know and he's calling because he digs it. It wasn't just the music that sold me, it was just the whole personality of the band. Mick, who's the lead singer, along with all the other guys, were just really humble about what they did, which is an important thing in this industry. I think that's been the hardest part for, for Gandhi's Gun, is making sure we've got all the right players, and I think we do. If you like what we do, the best way you can support us is to, is to buy our record, and uh, we can promise you that um, with that support and, and purchase records that will only allow us to be able to make more and we will work 
harder and harder and harder and harder each one we put out. So maybe one day I'll be opening up for them. God deeds go! South Texas rock right here, baby. You know you only got one shot. Check us out, myspace.com forward slash Gandhi's Gun for tour dates and cities near you. We want to throw a quick shout out and thank you to Hugo Ferreira from Tantric and Jeff Bergman for doing this video for us. Stay tuned, guys. Hope to see you soon. You know you only got one shot.